What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Got the kayak out here today. Got a special video for you guys. Back at the abandoned golf course pond. I mean, technically I say abandoned. It used to be a golf course about 20 years ago, but now it's my buddy's property. And also we're gonna be removing some of these fish because last time I was out here, you guys saw, I probably caught literally 45 to 50 fish all about in the pound, pound and a half range. So it's overpopulated. And right up top, there's a little bitty mini pond that has no fish in it hardly, but just like some small bluegill. We're gonna be transferring a lot of these fish into that small pond. And uh, the owner says there's way too many frogs over here. So he needs some frogs eight and those bass will definitely do it. So without any further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Got the old Bonafide kayak with me today. And today's video is actually sponsored by shopcarls.com. I, uh, this little swim bait lure I got, I'll show it to you in a minute. It's basically nothing without a swim bait to put on the back. And I ordered about six different uh, Mike Buca's baby bull shads off shopcrawls.com and uh, save a pretty good amount, like almost almost four or five dollars per swim bait on there. If you use code Georgia10, any orders over $25, you'll save $10. So make sure you do that. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and slide the kayak in. Wish me luck could catch a monster today, but I'm not too hopeful on it, but let's try. Well, it started off pretty slow. I threw a little swim bait for 10 minutes, no luck. <clears throat> so I figured I would uh, throw this little worm out here in the deep end. Just curious if they're out here in the deep. Crankbait probably better to throw, but that's a fish. Come on now, that's a pretty good one. Hey! First fish of the day. Not bad. We might probably still end up throwing this one in the top pond just because it's not the size we want. And I'm pretty sure I caught this fish last time. Do you guys remember this, uh, this little broken fin back here on the last video? So don't get mad at me. I do have a bucket on the bank over there, but for right now, I'm just gonna be stringing these fish. All right, first fish of the day, deep water. So we might have to end up doing that all day. Right where that one hit, a, uh, a bunch of bubbles come up from the bottom. And I don't know if you guys do a lot of pond fishing, but uh, if I'm ever in an area and all of a sudden I see a bunch of bubbles just come up on the bottom, normally these ponds have a lot of silt in them and uh that means there's a fish just stirring it up right there on the bottom if it's a circle of bubbles not like a line or anything or just a random bubble but there's just like a big circle of bubbles down there nine times out of ten it's a fish and i would normally cast to them and i'll normally catch fish too That was a big one. Big one right here. Oop, he just bit it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, little booger. You're definitely going on the stringer. I thought you were good. All right, we are officially up to two bass on the stringer. No big ones yet, but that's technically what we want. We want to get, catch these small ones and get them out of here. I see bubbles, guys. Right. Right there. There was bubbles. Let's see if there's a fish right there. Oop, the bubbles have moved. They're over there now. I'll throw in on it. Watch. Bubbles are right, and there. Oh, and he bit it. 
little bitty one. Works almost every time. Follow the bubbles, I'm telling you. Pond fishing, bubbles. All right, three bass on the stringer. And I'm sure somebody's gonna get mad that I'm putting these fish on a stringer, but it's like, they're literally overpopulating the lake and they kill the big ones. All right, so here's my crazy swim bait contraption that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. I wanted it to be kind of sunny out when I threw it, but I'm just curious to see if I can get any bites on it. There we go. Finally got one on it. Well, didn't mean for that one to get back in the water. So that one got lucky. <laughs> Pretty sure I did. Got it. <laughs> My drag was loose as all get out. All right. All right. Bass number five. That's a fish. Heading out the deep sea too. All right. And that one didn't, didn't even mess up my worm. So that means my worm's good to go. The old top water bite slowed down a good bit again, so I'm just gonna try uh, using the old Texas rig. There's a big log over there. I'm not sure exactly where, but I know there'll be a fish hanging around it. I feel like a spinnerbait in this lake would just slay. All right, that's, this is the size bass we want to keep in here. So we're going to let this one go, pushing three. All right, we're going to get these fish on the bank and released over here in the top pond. And then it'll be time to go. So I just walked all the way up from the bottom pond, sweating pretty bad, but got a massive stringer of fish. Got about 10 or 11 bass on there. So we're gonna go ahead and get these released into this mini pond over here where they can live a lot better. He's off. Alrighty, officially released all those bass. Hopefully, if I do that a couple more times, two or three times a year, it'll put a dent in this lake over here and we can have us a trophy managed bass pond. Maybe I can talk to the owner and uh, throw a few seven and eight pounders as well in it, help it grow. Because I catch a lot of them out of a big lake, but I'd love to bring them out here to a little pond and just have a trophy pond, take all the small ones, relocate them and just leave just monsters like three, four pound plus ba pound bass in this lake only and leave it at that. So I'm going to go ahead, get the kayak to the other side of the lake and we'll see you guys over there.
right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. I always enjoy coming out here and catching fish out of this lake. If you guys have a name for this pond that we could name it, because I've just been calling it the abandoned golf course. If you guys have a name for this pond, drop it in the comments below. I'd really like to uh, get a name for this thing. So, and I'd like for one of you guys to pick it and whoever has the best name comment, I'll pin it at the top of the comment section. But without any further ado, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna see you guys later. Peace.